good YouTube because of Kobe here. So we're diving into the Mises Ryan up church this we got a country rap battle off going right now so church has been looking for some competition and asking anyone to put it on a mic against him and Mises has stepped up to the plate I thought that this was going to happen with the videos that were being made and everything like that and Mises has dropped his track today so we will see what response we get from Mises with this I've listened to Mises for a few years now. He's had some great songs. He's had some songs that I enjoyed. I like the topics that he discusses in a lot of his music. He has a lot of wisdom inside of the way that he views the world and everything. So I respect Mises as an artist. He definitely has really solid bars. Mises can wrap his ass off. You cannot take that away from him. Whether you like that he has dissed up church or not you cannot take away the fact that Mises is very very solid with the pen he has been doing it for a long time he has a lot of experience he comes from a battle background i do believe i do believe Mises comes from a battle background so this is really his wheelhouse and that's that's all I have to say about it. I go into these unbiased. You guys know that I just like the music and I enjoy these artists. So they're getting into some competition right now. And it, there's some personal issues inside of it for them as well. Like I said, I don't know any of these guys personally or anything like that. So I don't have much to say on that. I'm sure Mises will have some stuff to say about it in his lyrics though. So... We'll discuss what Mises has to say in this. Everybody gets their fair shake with the bars inside of a battle. And we got a country rap rap off going right now. It's wild. It's wild, man. But we're going to get into this. We're here for the fucking bars. I say this in every video. If you're struggling with mental health or an addiction problem, please go get professional help as somebody who survived alcoholism and drug addiction and pulled theirself out of that. I really like to make sure that people know that they can have a better life and they can pull themselves out of those situations that they find themselves in. Those vices, you can get rid of them and you can have a much better life for yourself and you can really start to thrive inside of the things that you're naturally good at whenever it's not imposed on by substances and mental health and stuff like that. So I always like to encourage people to go get help if they need it before we start the videos. Other than that, like I said, we're here for the fucking bars in the battle. We're gonna get into it. I'm Vagasa Kabi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Mises dying church. You can think about the people. All the place you were a night Fuck we talking about, everyone can see I tried to keep the peace More than once, but you tried me so I had to drop receipts Already proved you lying man, nickname is Wire Man Playing CSI about somebody's child dying, damn Oh boy I told you Mises came from a battle background <laughs> We're four bars in and he's already dropped Exactly four shots <laughs> Man, Misa said that he has the lyrics here in the description, so we can actually break this down bar for bar. He said, fuck we talk about, everyone can see I tried to keep the peace more than once, but you tried me so I had to drop receipts. He did that. He made a whole video about it showing like the pictures and everything, like I said in the last video. He showed pictures of him and church together and meeting each other and stuff, which, I mean, to me, like, when I consider somebody a friend or something, it's because I've hung out with them a, a lot, like, a lot, a lot of times. Like, meeting somebody is easy to forget and shit like that, so I can understand if things get misconstrued, misconstrued and that's kind of, like, misunderstood between two people. I think that's kind of what happened here, but that's not the only issue that Mises has. Obviously, he said that in this next part right here. 
I said already proved that you're lying, man. Nickma nickname is Wire Man playing CSI about somebody's child dying, man. <sighs> He's talking about the true crime stuff that Church got into. Right? He's talking about that true crime stuff Church got into. <sighs> Mises is going to go off. I could. It's already here. He's going to go off in this. He's pissed. So I had to drop receipts. Already proved you liar, man. Nickname is Wire Man. Playing CSI about somebody's child dying. Damn, you a real piece of shit. Career heading down the toilet with your reputation. Cause you shout out dudes that hit on boys. Just sad how many people think you cool when it's not the truth. Fuck some. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. <sighs> That's tough. And it's not incorrect. There's proof of that. He's For those of you wondering, he's talking about the ex-beast boy, and I believe... I forget who it was. I saw somebody cover what he's talking about, and I mean, yeah, yeah, that that happened. Yeah, yeah, man. This is rough, Mises. He said you were a real piece of shit career heading down the toilet with your reputation because you shout out dudes that hit on boys. That was the bar. Oh my god, bro. This is gonna be a lot. About somebody's child dying, damn. You a real piece of shit career heading down the toilet with your reputation because you shout out dudes that hit on boys. It's sad how many people think you cool when it's not the truth. Fuck so many people, bitch. You should be a prostitute. We all Pause every fucking bar with this guy. I told you guys Mesa's could spit. I did not. I did not go into this thinking that he was going to do a bad job. Just so you guys know. For anyone wondering. I did not go into this thinking that. For one second. Mesa's can rap. Like really rap. He's proven it time and time again. That he can rap his ass off. And that his wordplay is top tier. Very seasoned pen game. He's been doing it a long time, and like I said, he's from a battle background, which means he can probably freestyle too very well because that's generally what happens with the battles. It's not usually written, it's usually off the cuff and cuff and very personal and responding to things that were just directly said. And Mises comes from that kind of background. He's gonna fucking go off in this. He said, sad how many people think you cool when it's not the truth. Fucked so many people, bitch, you should be a prostitute. That's a pun for saying fucked people over. Like, he's saying the church has lost a lot of people and a lot of bad situations have happened. And Mises is saying maybe it's not all of them that are the problem. In a lot of instances, like people stealing money from you and shit like that, especially family and everything, I can understand snapping and going off the fucking rails on that shit. But he's talking about a lot of friendships inside of the industry, the rap game and everything like that, right? That's what Mises is referring to when it comes to that. This is gonna be a lot, man. Cause you shout out dudes that hit on voices. Sad how many people think you cool when it's not the truth. Fuck so many people, bitch. You should be a prostitute. We all know you a hoe. Mouth is writing checks that can't cash. Stay behind your gate, yelling at your phone. Rap, rap, fast, fast. Hurry, get his ass another Adderall. So he can play with light bulbs and yell back and forth at the wall. Fuck. Oh my god. He's digging up everything, bro. Oh my goodness. This is this is a fucking battle rap song right here. This is proper. This is a diss. Like this is undoubtedly one of the most 
solid, to the point, straightforward, blunt disses we've gotten all year, right? I mean, that, what happened in the Kendrick and Drake situation, I didn't cover the last few songs of it, but I certainly listened to them in my own time. Sometimes I just can't wait for shit and then videos don't end up getting made for it because I just get excited and have a moment for myself, so... I didn't cover those, but, like, besides those, this is hard. Th these are really solid bars right here. Mises is going in. He's certainly going in. He said, we all know you a hoe, mouth is right, and checks that can't cash, safe behind your gate, yelling at your phone, rap, rap, fast, fast, hurry, get his ass another Adderall, so he can play with light bulbs and yell back and forth at the wall. <laughs> He's talking about when church was playing with the fucking light bulbs and making them light up without being plugged into the fucking ceiling, right? If you know, you know. If you've seen it, you've seen it. Mises has dug. <laughs> Mises has dug. What can I say? Like, yeah, this is going to be a fucking... Church is definitely going to probably respond to this. I don't see this not being responded to, not in the slightest. This is going to get fucking crazy. The Adderall, so he could play with light bulbs and yell back and forth at the wall. Fuck you calling skinny fat, you ain't gonna scrap and that's a fact. If you wanna pick a patch of grass, I'll pull up with your ass. Shit made out of glass, fresh your ass made out of tofu. So cool, Ryan trying to act like you don't know who. said, fuck you calling skinny fat, you ain't gonna scrap and that's a fact. If you wanna pick a patch of grass, I'll pull up and whip your ass. <laughs> Mises is getting, this is personal. This is personal right here. Like I said, this is a personal thing with this situation right here. So these bars are gonna be insane. They're gonna be very personal, and Mises is rapping hard as fuck right now. You can't deny anyone who denies it is just hating, right? You can't say that this man is not rapping his ass off right now. These are very, very well crafted and thought out bars from Mises here. This is coming from an unbiased rap battle perspective. These are solid bars. He said, chin made out of glass, rusty ass made out of tofu. He said, made out of tofu. <sighs> tofu. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So cool, Ryan, trying to act like you don't know who. He's saying, you know me, stop saying that you don't. That's what Mises is saying there. Fresh ass made out of tofu, so cool. Ryan trying to act like you don't know who. Bitch, you know me six years, you know you know my name, son. You the definition of forgetting where you came from. Oh, Funny God. shit is that ain't even every receipt that I got. Should have took that video down, tried to warn you about that pride. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He said, bitch, you've known me six years. You know my name, son. God, he called me. He's son of me. God damn. He's saying, not only am I a peer, but I've also probably been doing this longer than you two. That's what he's saying there. Wow. you the definition of forgetting where you came from. Funny shit is that ain't even every receipt that I got should have took that video down, tried to warn you about that pride, he said. Whew. He did. He said 24 hours, and he gave it more time. Th well, he gave, he gave it 24 hours and then put out the video with the receipts. The video still didn't get taken down, and then Red Rum got put out. And those little shots were taken inside of there, and Mises has fucking turned into a freight train with no brakes, let me tell you. This is battle rap right here, what can you say? 
does it come before the fall? Could've solved it with one call. Rather bitch on YouTube, cause your ass ain't man enough to talk. What you saw? I stay silent, cause it's David vs. Goliath. Read your comments, bitch. Your own fans are turning on you, Ryan. He says, should have took that video down, tried to warn you about that pride, because it comes before the fall, could have solved it with one call. Man, he said, all you had to do was pick up the phone, and even if we yelled at each other for an hour, it could have been different. He's right. I mean, right. That's what happened with Tom and Adam. You guys know that. Tom and Adam started out arguing with each other over some stuff that was said, right? And how they didn't like each other. And then they made two fucking albums together. How you feel about those albums is your own personal opinion. But they made two albums together after a fucking argument on the telephone. Because some shit was said online. Mises is saying it could have gone that way. Whew. Said you'd rather bitch on YouTube because your ass ain't man enough to talk. What you thought I'd stay silent because it's David versus Goliath? Whew. Man. Man, oh man. He's, that's talking about, the, I think that was referencing the sub count and everything like that. Referencing the sub counts and the number counts and shit like that is what he's saying there. Read your comments. Your own fans are turning on you, Ryan. He said, that's not incorrect. Go into the comment section on this video. On this video, go into the comment section and I bet you. You'll find a bunch of comments of people saying that they once did like what Ryan was up to a whole lot. But the last couple years, they kind of feel a bit different. I know that because I've seen those types of comments in the last couple weeks on other videos as well. And I know that they're certainly going to be in the comment section on this video, right? Mises ain't lying, bro. He's, he's like, I mean, you can't say that Mises is bullshitting right now. He's f fucking pulling out receipts like they're pieces of fucking candy. Like, literally. Just whipping them out of his pockets, right? This is a lot, man. Man enough to talk, what you saw? I stay silent cause it's David vs. Goliath. Read your comments, bitch, your own fans are turning on you, Ryan. I was trying to be civil, you the one that wanted war. So now it's going down, bitch, like you see sales on tour. You're an addict, cause they have it, just for traffic, bitch, you planet. it. Dragon Adam in cause Tom wouldn't respond to either whack this can't hit. My word. This is a really classic style of, first off, the flow and the approach. This is like some 90s fucking battle kind of shit right here. The flow alone and the, the type of wordplay that he's using, the type of cadence and the type of rhyme scheme that he's following. This is... A classic 90s battle style that he is using right here. And he is snapping the fuck out on it. You can't say that he's not. Like I said, you're just a hater if you're saying that he's not rapping his ass off in this. He said, I was trying to be civil with you. You're the one that won a war. Now it's going down like your ticket sales on tour. Personal shots, man. He said, you're an addict causing havoc just for traffic. Bitch, you planned it dragging Adam in because Tom wouldn't respond to either whack this. <sighs> Mises is saying exactly how he feels about everything right now. 
Like you seeking sales on tour You're an addict, causing havoc Just for traffic, bitch, you plan it Dragging at him, and cause Tom wouldn't respond to either Whack this, can't hit numbers that you used to So your tactic is use antics Do this panic, chewing Xanax Screwing mannequins and addicts What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Listen, when Mises made the video saying that he would wrap his ass off, I think the, the word that he used was disembowel. He said I would disembowel on the mic. <sighs> Mises can really rap. This is a solid diss. This might be the most solid diss track I've ever heard somebody put out on church. It is, hands down. This tops the screw tracks. Yeah. This definitely tops the screw tracks, in my opinion. It's nothing against screw. I think he did fantastic in his battle with church and held his own. I wish certain element, elements of it would have been different and less like political kind of ish would have been involved with it. But that's really the only bad takeaway that I had from Screw's side of that battle was the political kind of stuff inside of it. If it would have just been left to the bars, Screw could have easily had many more hard-hitting slams inside of there in his tracks. That's how I felt about that battle specifically. Yeah, I think this might be the... As somebody who loves Church's music and really admires Church for what he's done inside of his career and the work ethic he's had, the inspiration that he's spread with his music and the love that he's shown inside of his career. This is a very solid track right here. Completely unbiased, just based on bars. This is the most solid diss track anyone has ever put out on Upchurch. So Mises, you did your thing right here. Can't hit numbers that you used to, so your tactic is use antics. Dude is panicked, chewing Xanax, screwing mannequins and addicts, he said. Wow, that addicts, addicts pun right there. The mannequins, oh my god. Xanax. This time wouldn't respond to either whack this Can't hit numbers that you used to So your tactic is use antics Do this panic, join Xanax Screwing mannequins and addicts Speak of addicts If you can't take heat then why you rep the south Staying in your AC painting Barely ever left the house <sighs> He said speak of addicts If you can't take the heat then why you rep the south Staying in the AC painting Barely ever left your house He said <sighs> I don't know about that one. That one's questionable because you see Church putting stuff up and he's rolling around all the time. Like on his bikes or driving around in his cars and stuff like that. So I don't know about that one, right? But still, this is this is a battle. So obviously we're going to have a lot to cover inside of it. But, you know. You guys know. And cause Tom wouldn't respond to either whack this can't hit numbers that you used to, so your tactic is use antics. Do this panic, join Xanax, screwing mannequins and addicts. Speak of addicts, if you can't take heat, then why you rep the south? Staying in your AC painting, barely ever left the house. Hey, stop me when I lie though. Scared of pain, lame ass living like a hermit Feeling froggy like Kermit, jump bitch But you avoid instead of swing Paranoid by everything No one's out to get you, Ryan, you just suck bitch Call My word My word He said scared of the pain, lame ass living like a hermit Feeling froggy like Kermit, jump but you avoid instead of swing, paranoid by everything. No one's out to get you, Ryan. You just suck. <sighs> He's saying no one actually... Oh, my God. He's saying nobody even wants to do anything to you. They just want to talk shit on the internet because they actually think you suck. That's what he's saying right there. That is fucking layered, dude. 
like I said, this is a really intense level of bars right here. Jump, bitch, jump, but you avoid it, set a swing. Paranoid by everything. No one's out to get you, Ryan. You just suck, bitch. Call me cosign of a cosign. How the fuck can that be true? First feature was on album six. It wasn't even Calhoun. You call me his goon, said he sent me like I'm some kind of assassin. Not gonna lie, that made me laugh. Not gonna lie, it's kind of sad, man. What? Man. Whew. He's. Wow, he said, call me cosine of a cosine, how the fuck can that be true? First feature was on album six and wasn't even Calhoun. Oh, oh, he said, his, his, oh, oh. he's saying his sixth album, mm. he's saying I was, okay, he's saying I was already in deep before any of that shit even happened with anyone. Okay, I got you, Mises. I see you. I see you. I believe that. You can definitely go check that, like, fact check that, and Mises is not lying. I totally believe that. He said and it wasn't even Calhoun either. Wow. He said, you called me as goon, said he sent me like I'm some kind of assassin. Not gonna lie, that made me laugh. Not gonna lie, it's kind of sad, man. That's Misa saying, no, I did what I wanted to do and said what I wanted to say. Nobody sent me. That's what Misa is saying there. Wow. You just suck, bitch. Call me cosine of a cosine. How the fuck can that be true? First feature was on album six. It wasn't even Calhoun. You called me his goon, said he sent me like I'm some kind of assassin. Not gonna lie, that made me laugh. Not gonna lie, it's kind of sad, man. Watching you come so unfastened while people around you cash instead of dragging you into a hospital to get examined. I ain't capping, I feel bad, man. Hope you get some help, and then I hope you make amends for everyone you put through hell. Mises is going off, dude. This is... This is brutal. I mean, this, is, this needs responded to. What else can you say? This is brutal. Really. I don't even think this... This isn't even... He already told us this isn't all of it. Whew. He said, not gonna lie, it's kinda sad, man, watching you come so unfastened while the people around you cash in. Oh, man. Instead of dragging you into a hospital to get examined, he's saying, oh my god. He's saying the people that, he's saying you're surrounded by yes men. That's what he's saying. And they just want to cash in on profits that they can make. I'm not here to speak on that, man. I have no opinion on that, but Mises clearly feels a type of way about that specific scenario inside of Ryan's life. Wow. He said, I ain't cap and I feel bad, man, and I hope you get some help, and then I hope you make amends for everyone you put through hell. <sighs> These are punches. These are haymakers. You went to a hospital to get examined. I ain't capping, I feel bad, man. Hope you get some help, and then I hope you make amends for everyone you put through hell, motherfucker. I'm that motherfucker. You don't wanna fuck with fucker. Why you wiretapping pillow talk like fucking undercovers? Bunch of suckers treating up church like the up in church, worshiping him like a false prophet while he switching words. Fucking nerd. Damn. It is rare to get a whistle out of me. Wow. Mises, what the fuck, bro? This needs responded to. That's all I'm gonna... That's what I have to say. Man. He said, motherfucker, I'm that motherfucker. You don't want to fuck with fucker. That's a good scheme right there. That's a good one. That's fun. While you wiretap and pillow talk like fucking undercovers. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. That 
is a fucking bar. That is a good fucking bar right there. He said, while you were wiretapping pillow talk like fucking undercovers, that is so good. I told you guys, Mises can rap. And I knew what we were getting into with this. I don't think I've ever had him on the channel before. But if this is your introduction to him, you're welcome. Because, like I said, he can really rap very well. He said a bunch of suckers treating up church like they're up in church, worshiping him like a false prophet while he switch up the word. He's talking about those videos church made about like uh, the Bible and emerald tablets and e ancient Egypt and uh, all that. All those ones that got made is what Mises is talking about right there. Mises fucking dog with this. Wow. You don't want to fuck with fucker. Why you wiretapping pillow talk like fucking undercover? Bunch of suckers treating up church like the up in church. Worshiping him like a false prophet while he switching words. Fucking nerd, scary ass bitch. I'll bury your ass. Battle rap in Chirac. Where them terrorists at? You ain't a rapper. You a fan of rap that barely can rap. Getting guessed up by fans who ain't fans of rap. Swearing that you spaz. Half your punch. That's all he had to say. No. No, that's all he had to say. He saved it for the end, though. He could have started with that. And everybody would have understood the assignment. I already understood the assignment. I'm glad he put that bar in there because that will help. A lot of people who aren't aware of Mises' background... To understand why you probably don't want to try to get into a rap battle with him. <sighs> Fuck, bro. He said, fucking nerd, scary ass bitch, I'll bury your ass. He said, battle wrapped in Chirac, where them terrorists at. Yes. <laughs> yes. That shit ain't no joke. That shit is real shit. That's real life. Like, shit goes down in that scene. It is insane. If you fucking go research it, all you have to do, just, just type in Chirac and go through the history. That's all you have to do. <sighs> Mises is a fucking real one. Like, what else can you fucking say? Are you gonna deny that? You can't. You can't deny that. Mises is a real one. Whew. He said, you ain't a rapper, you're a fan of rap that barely can rap, getting gassed up by fans who ain't fans of rap, swearing that you spaz. My god, he said it. Yeah, you see it in a lot of comment sections, like, I don't, don't say, like, I don't fuck with hip-hop, or I don't, like, rap that much, but you made me like it again. And Tom gets the same kind of comments as well. Tom gets a lot of those kind of comments, too. Wow. Mises is pointing out some double standards here as well with a statement like that. Saying that the same kind of people that you say linger in Tom's comment section also linger inside of yours. <sighs> he's pointing out hypocrisies. He's pointing out double standards. Uh, he's pointing out real life situations. He's pointing out the potential of drug abuse and loss of mental health. He's also said he wants him to get help because he wants the best for everybody. I've tried to be nice is also something he said. Now he's told us where he came from. And, I mean... <sighs> this is one of the best diss tracks I've heard in a long time. That's all I can say about it. Like, I told you guys, this is unbiased, and I don't fuck around when I say that.
I'm going to analyze the bars and allow them to shine where they do. This is nothing but a fucking explosion going off in the sky at this point. Like, my god, Mises. You ain't a rapper, you a fan of rap, the barely can rap Getting guests up by fans who ain't fans of rap Swearing that you spaz Half your punchlines don't rhyme, other half swing and miss Only ones that think they sick, dipshit swinging on your dick For the clicks, you too full of dudes that's moving like a bitch You up and click, poop, hug and sip on T while we do real shit you Jesus Damn, I know who... God damn, I know who he's talking about. There's a few people. There's a few people, different channels, that he's talking about when he says what he just said right there. Oh my God, bro. He said, you ain't a rapper, you're a fan of rap that can barely rap, getting gassed up by fans who ain't fans of rap, swearing that you spazzed, half your punchlines don't rhyme, other half swing and miss, only ones that think they sick dipshit swinging on your dick, for the clicks, YouTube full of dudes that's moving like a bitch, Group up, click, group hug, and sip on tea while we do real shit. He's talking about all of the live streams that go for like four fucking hours of people grouping together and talking about all the drama and shit like that. That's who he's talking about. I'm not here to say that I have a problem with that. It's all news and it's conversation and that's what the internet was built for. It's called YouTube for a reason, for people to get on here and do their thing. But Mises is just making a valid statement saying a lot of drama surrounds your name and a lot of people think that you can do no wrong. And Mises is saying, I think that's fucking incorrect and I'm going to tell you why. And he's done that. He has certainly done his thing with this right here. Swinging on your dick for the clicks. You too full of dudes that's moving like a bitch. Group up and click, group hug and sip on T while we do real shit. You allergic to the facts, ain't even best in country rap. Yellow bubble jelly, struggle all of my your country ass. Yeah. And that made you look so bad on hooligan, it's fucking sad. And me, well, hell, I'm just a motherfucker. Say hi to your dad. Say Oh my goodness. He said you're allergic to the facts ain't even best in country rap. <sighs> Yell above us jelly struggle all a mop your at all a mop your country ass. Wow. He sent yellow wolf, Bubba Sparks, Jelly Roll, Struggle Jennings. He said all of them will mop your country ass. Wow. Damn. This is a battle. This, yeah, this gotta be responded to. Because this, this is a battle song right here. He said, an Adam made you look so bad on Hooligan, it's fucking sad. Me, well, hell, I'm just a motherfucker. Say hi to your dad. Sheesh. Mises is blunt as fuck, right? Struggle all of my your country yeah. And that have made you look so bad on hooligan It's fucking sad Me, well hell, I'm just a motherfucker Say hi to your dad Stay in country rap Kendrick was a this bitch, you insane Even with lot to explain But you still is in the lane So I'ma say you're plain Fuck some genres, boy Fuck subliminals and fuck Ryan up church Holla, boy Oh my god Every bar was a tie-in Wow. He said saying country rap Kendrick was a diss, bitch you insane. Yeah, cause the bar was telling Ryan to um holler for a feature. He also said he woke up on the wrong side of the bed and decided to diss Tom. Which I mean Yeah. That was the scenario. I mean, Church, in the videos, Church was literally 
in his bed. So that's where the reference came from. And Mises was just kind of like, now I feel like I'm in the middle because you over here arguing with Adam and Dis and Tom, and I kind of fuck with what they got going on. And I'm buddies with Adam and everything. So where did that put Mises? You have to look at it from the perspective of other people and everything like that. You can't just be biased and say that everybody's wrong all the time just because it's church they're having a conflict with. At the end of the day, people are people and we all have shit that goes on in our life and instances where things go wrong and that's fine as long as we work on it and get better through it and I think what Mises is trying to say is that whenever it comes to a scenario with church it seems like people won't allow it to be viewed as wrong or it all gets shoved onto everybody else and they get shit on hardcore Mises is kind of saying that he doesn't think that's right you know he said even went live to explain but you still listened to lames he's saying you listened to people that didn't know the situation that don't even know us personally that just get online and stir the shit pot and talk about drama and the, the music news and everything like that which is natural in the industry right we get on here and discuss music news and shit like that all the time and drama gets involved with it a lot of the time that's a thing that happens in the industry unfortunately Mises is addressing it here he says I went live to explain and you still listen to lames trying to say I wanted a I wanted you to holler at me get a hold of me and everything you know saying so I'm gonna say it plain fuck subgenres Fuck subliminals and fuck Ryan up church holler boy, he says. And he flipped the holler boy into a diss because he said holler boy whenever he was telling church to get a hold of him in country rap Kendrick. He's saying, so now, holler boy. He's saying, diss me. That's what he's saying. This is a lot. This is a long fucking video. I already know it. If you guys aren't into a lot of pauses, I apologize. But I break down every bar, especially in a diss track. If it's a diss track, we are breaking down every bar. We're checking the validity of it. We're checking where the references tie in. We're going to check off every fucking box that I catch. That I know where it's coming from. And that was pretty much everything in this. Mises. This was a fucking solid diss track. What else can you say? This was a solid diss track. Definitely warrants a response. Original video for this will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Mises. Support the artists we have on the channel, especially the independent ones. That's what we do this for. Get that music out into the world, especially for independent artists that don't have big label backing and everything. This is a country rap battle off right here. And if Church responds, it's going to get fucking crazy. It's definitely going to get fucking crazy if Church responds to this. And I think that he's going to play that out real quick give it the full time boom there we go i really enjoyed this though i can't say that i didn't think this was good mesis can wrap his ass off and this had a lot of bars that floored me so that's what it's all about in a rap battle that's what it's about you gotta appreciate the talent and you have to appreciate the penmanship he kept it a fucking stack like 100% said everything that he wanted to say with no second thought about it. Said exactly how he felt. Came with very hard punches. Not playing around kind of shit. Really real rap bars. Battle rap bars. You can tell the background that he comes from. Which he told us in that one bar. Where he said he comes from where that shit is real. And it's where the terrorists are at is how he described it yeah he's like i come from where this is like real life kind of shit and like 
you got to be a real motherfucker to do what I've done inside of my career, is what he's saying with that. Mises kept it a stack. What else can you say, man? What else can you say? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this breakdown. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vacasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.